Welcome to the fifth annual Men Who Cook, the benefit for the Will County Center uh, Child Advocacy Center. To my left is Sue Block, who is their executive director, and to her left is Anastasia Tusky. She is the communications director for our Will County executive, Larry Walsh. I'm Peggy Thomas, representing the city of Joliet. Sue, this is one of my favorite benefits because we get to interview and eat our way through the whole thing. Tell us about the, the wonderful work that the uh, Advocacy Center does and how you've done with Men Who Cook. Okay, well, like Peggy said, this is our fifth annual fundraising event. It's uh, used to support, uh, or it's put on to support the Will County Children's Advocacy Center, which is a 501c3 nonprofit agency, part of the Will County State's Attorney's Office. Basically, uh, what we do is when there's an allegation that comes through from local uh, law enforcement all throughout Will County or from our local Department of Children and Family Services. There's been a report of child sex abuse or severe physical abuse. Uh, they come to our center. We do the interview of the child in a very uh, child-friendly environment, a child-sensitive interview by a professional interviewer as opposed to a child having, going to, having to go down to the police station uh, to right, be interviewed. And, go, yes. and yeah, then we have various other programs. We have a full counseling program which is uh, free to all our clients and full case management and just a, a great place to, for kids to come. And then with. we have this great benefit where you can come and eat fabulous food by men who cook and the, the money goes to the center. I mean, Anastasia, is this not one of your favorite things? <laughs> it is very incredible because I love the fact that I get to eat all evening long. And who knew that we had so many wonderful chefs that were men oh, in, in this county? How many cooks do we have this year, Peggy? I believe we have 45 or 46 cooks this year. All right. I'm so sorry I called you Peggy. This That's is okay. So <laughs> I, I know names. my name. That's okay. We're just we're excited about we're the We're excited. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. All right. Well, Sue, I'm sure that this is going to be just another wow. And here's to it. And thank you, our state's attorney, Jim Glasgow, who is the one who is behind all this. So right. Thank you right. so much. And let's go eat. Okay. All right, we are here with the delightful Nancy and Alan Nowacki, and uh, Mr. Allen has brought his uh, hot balls. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, balls, what yeah. are they, meatballs? Yeah. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've created this year? Or maybe I should ask Nancy, who really made these? Oh, that's okay. Alan can talk to you about it. It's no big deal. It, it's a combination of uh, the recipe is goes back to... Nancy's got a cookbook, elegant but simple cookbook, and it's great. Just meal. like you, right? It's elegant but easy. <laughs> just like you, right? Yeah, yeah, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, uh, it used grape jelly and then uh, chili sauce and then uh, lemon juice along with it's the meatballs and, and put it together. Yeah. And it, it's very tasty, very good. Well, they look delicious. I can't wait to sample one of them. Now, how many years have you been participating in this event? Since it started. So fifth year, right? And what do you like so much about it? Oh, well, uh, the for the cause, yeah, the commodity, but the, the cause that it's for is child advocacy, yes. and, and we have to stop child abuse someplace, and we're working on that all the time, and, and it's just a good cause, and the money it is used for a good purpose, so the ch kids can u utilize it and also be able to have a free counseling so that they're not being taken advantage of. Well, that's that's so great, and we're so glad that you bring your hot meatballs yeah. wherever you I'm going to taste one right here on camera. Thank you. All right. Mmm. Thank you, Dick. Very good. Our next set of cooks here are Andy Mihalich and Dan O'Connell, and they seem to have whipped up some kind of thing that looks like a beverage of some sort. Can you tell us, Andy? Yeah, it's a zucchini shooter. This is our first year coming out, so we didn't know uh, what everybody else did, so we wanted to come up with something uh, unique. So we thought uh, zucchini shooters would be the perfect idea. When I checked in, they have never done this in their history, so this is the first time anybody can come and get a zucchini shooter. It's a pureed zucchini and a chicken broth with a lot of extra spices, and it's delicious. So Dan, you put a little hooch in there to spice it up, or what? Yeah, there's a there's an adult-rated version of it, so yeah. <laughs> well, I never had a zucchini shooter before, and I don't think I've ever thought about having zucchini in a glass. Why did you want to get involved with this event this year, Dan? Well, come out with Andy, have a good time. You know, they keep telling me to come out to this event, and so I thought it'd be a good idea. 
very good. It's got a great reputation, and oh, you're yes, glad to be here. Yes, it does. And I think it's kind of a who's who of the Joliet area, don't you think? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, we had to come out. Uh, we know that everybody else is coming out, been here for years, and we're just lucky to get an opportunity to come out and be a part of this great uh, fundraising activity for Child's Advocacy. Fantastic. Well, good luck to you. Oh, thank you. Okay, I am here in front of some very famous mozzarella and bacon stuffed meatballs prepared by Joliet Police Chief Mike Trafton and Joliet Police Sergeant John Stefanski, affectionately known as Stretch. And I want to hear about the meatballs and I want to hear about this trophy that's over here. The trophy we'll get to later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike, with the meatballs. Peg, we worked for three and a half hours on these yesterday, so they're, they're, it's an old family recipe, and we've got mozzarella in the middle, we've got bacon in there, and they're delicious. We've oh, they smell really great. Do I get a taste? Absolutely. Whatever okay, okay. Yeah. How do I? How do we do this here? You want it? You want it on a, 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 a Milano bun? A okay. Milano. Oh, Milano buns. Oh yes. Paper Must. Made. Yes. Wait, there's, wait, there's oh God, but you could tell. Okay. okay this is my favorite part. Here you go. Here we go. Okay, the sampling. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let you hold the mic while here we I go. indulge. Here we, okay, go. here we go. Notice the joy. The joy on her face. Notice the pure satisfaction. Oh. Oh, very, very good. Well, that's why we got oh, these. Oh, my God. That's why we have the trophies. I have to block. The proof is in the meatball. Oh, my God. No, it's right. And what's the trophy for? What year? There's oh, this, a couple. What, 08, 09. 08, 09. 09. It's, it's, it's hard to keep track at yeah, this point. It's, oh. it's really hard to keep track. You've got to try these. They're really, really good. Thanks, guys. Well, thanks, Here's guys. to another well, winning thank season. Thank you. <laughs> we are here with the infamous. <laughs> infamous, is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Ed Kerfin. And Baby Ross and Novak. Baby Ross Novak. And they have been cooking all day. And I'm a, kind of afraid to ask, what, the, what is this? This is, um, this is mango. Um, mango, sesame, coleslaw with Ooh. tequila, lime, chicken wings. Tequila. All yeah. right. Yeah. That well, there's it's chicken wings with the biggest tequila. ingredient. Oh, well, that's important. That's important. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, it looks you delicious. So you should try this. Yeah, All try right. This. Just, just try. This is a taste test. Little well, napkins. It's just different. Mmm. A little tequila wing. That's very yeah, that's good. That's chicken wing though too. I can't eat tequila on, pu yeah, on, on public. <laughs> I work for a public official. I can't eat tequila on camera. So guys, it off, doesn't it? I don't know. How many years have you all been participating this in this event? This is our third year, and we're going for the win this year. Do you think? We brought on our A game. Our a game. Yeah, well, I think you might have a little competition because you know that Tom Gratowski and Chuck Pelkey. No, he's making bur burgundy with foo-foo, yeah. so we've got him. This is real food. This is real man's food, yes, right? So, Ross, how much do you like this event? Oh, I love this event. This yeah. is awesome. This is, a, this is a really wonderful thing that they're doing here. I'm glad to be part of it. And you two are local celebrities being on WJOL every, what, Friday? Every Friday from 10 o'clock till 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the Friends Over 50 show. Fantastic. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe he doesn't show up. I, I don't know. But anyway, so another great, great dish they got going this year. So thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. No thank problem. You. All right. This looks pretty good. I believe the term is jerk alicious. We've got Big John and Rick, also known as Boo Boo, and I'm going to guess that you make it's homemade, it's all homemade pork jerky. Homemade pork. So, well, let's try it. Let's see how this is. Oh, it's hot. Hot and spicy. It's very hot and spicy, and it's very good. How do you how do you do this? That's a pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. It's been been seasoned for about 24 hours. Okay. And then we we dehydrate it in a dehydrator for four to five hours. All right. We have different flavors. And then is the cheese, is that something that you... you the cheese you add with it. If you, okay. if you eat the cheese and the jerky at the same time, it really does a nice job on your palate. Uh -huh. It gives the jerky a little bit different of a flavor. Oh, it's very good. It's good oh, it's very good. How long have you been doing this? We've been doing this together for 15 years, 15 maybe. Years. We just do it for fun. Guys at work love it, and we thought we'd come down here and have some fun for the benefit. Oh, I think it's great. I mean, and it's very, very tasty. It's our first time here with it, and it seems like it's an original It's an original item. It's it very seems. original. I'm still chewing, and it's yeah. really good. Oh, God. Well, good luck. This is Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. Very fun. Okay, we are at a very interesting-looking um, appetizer here, and we are with, introduce yourself, please. Jim Herod, my wife, Barb. Hi, Barb. 
And tell us, Jim, what you made this year. It's a Louisiana-style crab cake that has a Louisiana spice and three different types of sauce to go with it. A uh, Mexican mango salsa, a traditional Louisiana ramelade, and then your uh, traditional uh, cocktail sauce. So it's hot, hot, and hotter? No, uh, they're all pretty mild. <laughs> yeah. And they sound like they're beef very flavorful, having the Louisiana and the crab, right? Yes. Very good. Now, is this your first year in this event? This is our second, in fact. Okay. And how much do you like this? Oh, it's a great event. Yeah. It's an excellent cause, and uh, it's a nice way to uh, spend your Saturday night. So tell us true here. Did he do all the cooking? Oh, yes. He's definitely the cook. I am a very lucky woman. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, look here. It's a fresh batch he's just pulling out. Yum, yum. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, I'm here with Michael Noonan, and his appetizer is hot dog pieces in, it looks like a mustard sauce? It's a mustard and currant jelly mix. Okay, and is this like a big hit at parties? Are yeah, you always asked like, to bring this? When I was in college, I did. I was a, the biggest hit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they look great. I'm going to sample if you don't mind. Okay. Stab one there of those suckers go. here. Okay, let's see. We've got hot dog pieces in the special college sauce. Special, special sauce. Mmm, very good. I think it is. Good job. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for coming out to participate. I'm having a good time. Excellent. That's what it's all about. We are here with the esteemed editor of the Farmers Weekly newspaper and the Bugle newspapers and his handsome son, Andy Ryer. Nick Ryer is the editor, and Andy, Andy Ryer is his son. Nick, tell us what you made this year. It's called Bonia Calde. It's uh, I mean, warm bath in Italian, and it's made with a lot of butter, a lot of garlic, a lot of cream, and a little bit of anchovy. And it is absolutely addictive, um, especially if you have a hangover. But it's even good before that, too. So. So how much butter? There is one stick of butter per quart and one bulb of garlic per quart and one can of anchovies per quart. Well, I can certainly smell the garlic and you dip bread in it as I've been doing and it is quite delicious, right? It is wonderful. It's very addictive, like I said. Is this an old family recipe? No, actually I got it with a, from a co-worker. I said I'd wanted to try it and she said I've got a wonderful recipe and I brought it somewhere. and. The guy's wife said, you know, are they supposed to be drinking it with straws? And I said, I knew I had a winner, so. Well, you've participated in this event for a couple of years now, right? This is my fourth, okay. so I only missed one year. And you know what a great event this is. It's a wonderful event. I can't wait for it every year. And you do great work with the Farmers Weekly and the Bugle newspapers, keeping everybody involved, so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Okay, I'm here with Joliet Police Detective Tommy Ponce and Dwayne Weiss, and the actual creator, I believe, of this Greek dish is Police Commander Al Roshner, who could not be here because he is on his way to Florida. Yes, Tommy, what is, um, and I understand it's, it's a Greek specialty, it's like a kind of a cheese puff? The tri, uh, it's called Trigana, it's a Greek appetizer. Okay. Uh, basically, it's dough with uh, three types of cheese in it. Yum. Okay, do I have to try one? Can yeah, I just, sure. can I just pick? Okay, and my hands are clean. Here we go. Let's see what you think. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very good. Oh, yeah. Do we get your chip now? No, yes, you get, my, you get my chip. You also get my order for my next dinner party. Fantastic, guys. Outstanding. Okay, I'm here with Tom Grotowski. He is also, he has won several times, I believe, in Men Who Cook. Yeah. And I'm laughing because I, I have had the pleasure of being at a dinner party where he's cooked, and Absolutely. I love everything. Yeah. What do you got going here? I have uh, beef tenderloin bits of poivre, oh. which is in a peppercorn and cognac sauce, and uh, it's something that I would serve, you know, little bite-sized pieces at a dinner at my house, okay. if you would like. But uh, it's all uh, all beef tenderloin tender. I got about 1,250 pieces I brought today, so hopefully that uh, we have enough. If you could serve wine, what would you serve this with? I would serve that with a Cabernet Sauvignon or probably a French uh, Red Bordeaux. Oh, so yeah. I brought a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon with me on my little bistro right here. Oh. And, uh, you know, so I'm sure that that bottle is going to be going down just a little well, I'm bit. I'm sure. I, I hope I'm here to help it go down. I wish it was ready to go because I'm dying to taste it. Well, this is, uh, oh, God. 
Sometimes you just got to have red meat. Yeah, this Woo! is uh, flaming a little bit here. But uh, what I do is I'm going to, once this gets a little bit warmer, and I think I'm running out of fuel on, on these right okay. now, but uh, then I'll take some cognac and pour the cognac I, over I it. saw the cognac yeah. there. Is that what makes it, like, light up? Fine cognac from France. Oh, ho! Oh, ever did uh, a little nip of that <laughs> while you're cooking? Oh, this is great, Tom. Good luck. It looks yummy. And I will be back to taste it when it's ready. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you. John Dieter, Dita, Dieter, yeah. excuse me, Dita. Dieter. Oh, all right, and he has got some very interesting pizza, pizzaola, Italian. Okay, you say it. Pizzaola. Okay, and you tell me what it is. It's Italian sausage stuffed with uh, bell pepper, Romano cheese, Parmesan cheese, provolone cheese. And it is awesome. It has just a little bit of a kick to it, but it is very awesome. How long does it take you to make these? Eh, depends on how many people I got helping me. Yeah, and how many if people do, do you have? My, well, if I do it myself, it's probably five, six hour project. Yeah. And how many years have you been participating in this event? This is fourth year. Fourth year. And you yeah. really like it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Have a good time, yeah. All right. Very good. Well, thank you so much for coming out. And thank you. I'm going to have another little piece of sausage. Mmm. Where is my sombrero when I need it? I'm here with Mark and Mario and their homemade salsa, which looks divine. Which one of you wants to talk to us a little bit about what went into making this? Is it very secret? What's what's going on? Well, there's a little secret ingredients to it, but uh -huh. we won't tell you. Okay. Um, it's just a pico de gallo we, um, that's most Mexican restaurants and people do, and I just added a little extra to it to make it give it a different taste to it. And if you taste it, you'll find I'm out. I'm going to taste yeah. it, Mario. And Mark, where's your part in this? I uh, I just helped Mario make this. I, Mario and I are, are good friends, and we uh, he made it one day, and I said, this is absolutely, Yum. oh, yes. <laughs> well, so, let me try. Uh, so this is our second year here, and, okay. and Mario, uh, I said, I'd be more than happy to be your sous chef. Oh, God, I'd I love it. I love it. Can I take it? I'm going to do a little taste here so we can have the viewers see my expression. Which, let me get it on here. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. It's got a little secret ingredient. Oh. Did you taste the secret ingredient? I don't know what it is. I just wish it was bottled in a jar and I could buy it. <laughs> well, you might be able to do that someday. All we? right. Very, very, very good. Mark and Mario, good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We are here with Dan Port and Patrick. Say your last name. No, Sam. And look at this yummy stuff. Now tell us what you made, Dan. So this year we decided to go with a, um, a a toasted rye bread with a little bit of butter and horseradish on it. And then we slow cooked corned beef for about a half a day. And then we ended up- Half a day. Half a day and then ended up pickling vegetables for a couple of days. We uh, had jalapenos, mm -hmm. cabbage, radishes, and carrots. And actually we top it off with a really small, a bit of potato like a hash brown. Oh my goodness. It looks delectable. How the whole meal in one bite. Absolutely. <laughs> How many years have you been in this event? Oh, this is our second year here, and it's a great time. We, yeah. we love coming back, so Very anything good. we can do to support it. Very good. And so what did what was your role in this creating this concoction? Well, I'm barely just helping, you know. <laughs> He's a great cook. It's a tough time, you know? <laughs> See, it's dangerous to cook. You could get hurt, so bless your heart. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you so good much. Good you're here with Dominic. And Dominic, tell me your last name. Well, this is Dominic. Oh. Our last I'm name sorry. is like a pony. Okay, and you are? I'm Carrie. And this is Dominic. And who's your other handsome helper? That's my son, Brandon. Okay, and tell us what you made. Uh, we made dirty rice. Dirty rice? Are these boys too young to eat dirty rice? No, it's not X-rated, it's just a little dirty. And what's in your dirty rice? Uh, meat, rice, some spices, and some secret stuff I don't care to reveal. Ah, old family secret, huh? Uh, Dad's family secret. I see. So, um, Dominic, what did you do to help your dad prepare? Uh, I prepped me. I made the rice in that. You made the rice. Fantastic. And how about you, Brendan? I cut all the vegetables. Wow, so that's good. You know, girls like guys that can cook, so you guys should keep that up, right? That's how I got married. 
Absolutely. And this is your second year in the event? Yes, it is. And what do you think about it? Oh, I love this event. It's a good time, supports a good cause, and, you know, we always have fun, and me and the boys get to bond a little bit. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. Well, thanks so much for coming out today. Thank you. We are with two very handsome gentlemen. Gene Sullivan. And Zach Sartori. And they have a very interesting looking dish here. So, Zach, can you tell me what this is? This is salad. That's salad? It. Yeah, it's okay. salad with cranberries, apples, walnuts, and some homemade dressing. Okay, and is the homemade dressing your concoction? I can't tell a lie. It's my wife's. Okay. So it's truly, we know there's a good woman behind every man who cooks, right? Absolutely. Uh -huh. okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, and how often have you, per is this your first year in the event? No, we've been here, I think, every year so far. Yeah. yeah. And what do you all think about the event? I love it. I think it's really great. Yeah. Well, you know, guy, girls love men who can cook, right? And I'm a great cook. Uh, all right. And are you single? Are you single? Oh, uh, well, you know, that's how he caught his wife. So, yeah, hey. Right. Well, we thank you guys for coming out, and it looks delicious. So, we will send everybody over your way. All right. Thanks thank so you much. much. You too. All right. I, I lucked out on this one. I am with Chuck and Jeff. They're cheesy potato appetizer. I am a connoisseur of everything potato. It is my Irish roots. I will be very, very picky about this. So, can I have a sample? Go for it. Grab a plate over there. All right. Okay, here we go. Here you go. I'm going to have you hold this. All okay. right. I, the cheesy potato is, it calls my name whenever it's around. Let's see. Mmm. Very, oh, very good. I think I have to have another bite. Oh, whose recipe is this? Actually, it's my wife's. Oh, but she I did, did make good it. Good job. Very good job. Well, how did you get pulled into this, Jeff? I'm Chuck's helper every year, so I'd like to the be here. Chef. And, yes. Okay. Mmm. Very, very good. I might have to come back for another scoop later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are with Kurt Johnson, and he has made watermelon soup. And I got to tell you, I would never in a million years guess that watermelon could be made into soup, but it's really pretty good. Very good. Kurt, tell me about it. Well, this is a recipe I thought would be very refreshing after a, a, a long night of eating heavy foods. This is going to clean your palate. It is watermelon. I've got fresh mint. It's got honey and lemon in it, and it is tasty. And then for the adults, in the summertime, a little vodka, hey, it's a great drink. It is very refreshing, and it, it does it keep very well? I mean, do you have to ice it up, or what do you do? Well, it's chilled. It's cold right now. I got it on ice. You make a, a batch of it, put it in the refrigerator, and it'll last for uh, at least three or four days. Now, you are married to the beautiful Sherry Johnson, who works for the state's attorney's office. Yes. And how long have you been participating in this event? This is my third year, and I enjoy it. I can't wait till next year already. It's a great event. So how did you come up with watermelon soup? It seemed like the first two years I was here, I did water, I did uh, chilled soups, and I think this is my category, so I just get on the internet, and I just uh, type in chilled soups, and I make my choice. And you're also Jackson the Wonder Dog's dad, right? <laughs> yes, I am, and he's a wonderful guy. Well, we're going to talk to him next, so thanks a lot. Alrighty, Bless your care. heart. We are with Jackson the Wonder Dog and his mom, Sherry Johnson, and... He is the most awesome dog. I just, I adore him. Sherry, tell me what Jackson's role is here and how he helps out the Child Advocacy Center. Sure. Jackson is a, um, a licensed therapy dog, so um, he is there for the kids when they come in for their, their interviews at the center. And he's just there to greet the kids, to kind of calm them down, to kind of make it a more relaxed atmosphere. Um, on what is many times a very hard and challenging day for the kids and for the parents. It's amazing the parents benefit from Jackson so much too. So, And he's been so successful in this role, right? Yes, we've been doing this now for a year. We started last February and yeah, it's been remarkable. The, the and if I do say so, he is the best dog and I'm going to give him a little treat here because he's such a good dog. Jackson, here's your treat. He is a wonder dog. Bless his heart. And my friend, uh, my friend Stephanie Brennan made all of these homemade treats. They so are they're, awesome. yeah, he gave it the sample of homemade. Jackson, you have anything to say? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I am here with Jack and Debbie McCaig. They have made Italian chili, 
and this is a big thing for me because I hate beans, but it looks and smells so good, I'm going to try it. So can I have a little sample? Yeah, absolutely. But it's been swarmed here, so it's got to be yeah, good. Absolutely. I'm going to do a little spoon. Okay. Let's see. Oh my God, that's good. Thank you. That's very good. It's, it doesn't, it's, it has a very unique, I mean, you know you're having something Italian. It's very good. How did you come up with this? Well, this is a fifth generation recipe and it has homemade Italian sausage in it, it has mm. New York strip steak in it, marinated, the and then a lot of get. seasonings and oh. spices that are from Italy. So Fancy. I knew this was going to be good because when I came up here, people were swarming this table. <laughs> Outstanding <laughs> job. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are here with Chuck Pelkey, who is Communications Director in the Office of the State's Attorney, Jim Glasgow, and one of the big, big perpetrators of this event. Can I call you a perpetrator? Uh, you can call me an organizer, a perpetrator. That's, you know. That's not illegal, is <laughs> that's, that's it? Got, it is illegal. That's got, a, that's got a legal term there, so. Okay, he's an organizer of this event. So Chuck, this is a big, big deal, and you do such a great job. Well, you know, it's a lot of fun. This is, it gets bigger and bigger every year. Um, you can see by the crowds that are here today, there's a lot of good food, a lot of guys having a lot of fun, a lot of people enjoying all the, uh, all the good food that's out there today. Let's talk about the Facebook wars oh. that have been going on with oh. Chuck, Will County Auditor Duffy Blackburn, Chef Tom Gutowski about who's going to win. I've been laughing every day. I mean, it's just, it's so much fun to go on and see what's going on here. Well, you know, um, it, the, the competition is all real friendly, <laughs> but I, I have to say this, you know, with, with Tom Gutowski in particular, it's, it's a lot of style, not a lot of substance there. You know, Tom likes to, he, he likes to light things on fire, but you and, know, and in the end, it's the taste the that counts. Chef's ensemble going on he does he's got he's got it's, it's a nice look it's it a good is, it's, it's a good a look for him good look. but it's it's a taste test that's that's what that's what it's about now this is a Chinese I, I should know exactly what it is but I'm telling you, but it's, it's some like Asian dish that you have been really working on and right this is this is one of to perfection this is one of our family favorites this is a Chinese herb chicken it goes really well with a uh, uh, with a, a uh, dry wine or with a plum white, wine with or with a plum wine that's there a sweet is. wine there as well and it also goes good with beer so you can right. if you're eating fancy you know have a little glass of wine or if you're uh, just relaxing you know have a glass of beer with it I want to try it do I do I, what is this that's the plum wine and that's the herb chicken there so do I eat the chicken and then drink the wine you can, can I put it together you you could you could drink the wine and, and eat the chicken it's one way or the other I'm going for the wine Very, the wine is very sweet. I don't know if you're supposed to drink wine like a shot, but I did. Oh. Good? Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. Yeah. How long does it take to put this together, Chuck, this dish? Oh. You know, uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of chopping and a lot of mixing, but once the, the actual cooking part of it goes very quickly. It's about, oh. you know. Yeah. Isn't it awesome? Uh -huh. It brings out the <laughs> flavor of that, huh? I'm going to pull up a chair. It, it, it's, it, cool. it's, got a, it's got a real earthy kind of uh, flavor to very, it and a lot good. of subtlety to very, it. Very, very good. So. Well, yep. you've done a great job again this year and congratulations yeah, so on another great. big successful event. Yeah. Cool. So. Well, thank you so much. And again, we got a lot of a lot of people here just having a great time, a lot of good food here tonight. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Uh, you, know, you can taste Grotowski's food too if you want. <laughs> just so we know how good yours is, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> just so thank you know you. what you're missing, right. <laughs> right. Thanks. All right, thank you. You're awesome. We are here with David Larson and who are you, sir? Tom Lula. And David has got some smoked pulled pork, right? Yes, ma'am. So tell me about this. I started it Thursday night. It's, it's. I just smoked it, uh, I don't know, about 20 some hours. Wow. With a. Do you uh, put it in a slow cooker outside yeah, or what? It was outside. It was very cold uh, Thursday night. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. It was like. How many years have you been in this event? This is my first year. Okay. What do you think about it? I don't think I made enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's going fast. It's, yeah. So, what's your specialty that makes this so unique? Uh, just, just the, just the sauce, uh, the rub I use. Yeah. Not gonna, not gonna disclose it right now. Well, it's a family secret. I'm sure we yeah. don't want to let the cat out of the bag for sure. Right. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations and good luck to you guys. Thank now, you. what was your role in making all this? Uh, I'm Dave's humble helper. Are you? So, so you just carry the boxes and much. stay behind. Right. right. All right. <laughs> well, behind it takes a great team to make stuff like this. So. Very good, very good. Well, good luck to you guys. Right, you might thanks. win a prize tonight. You never know. No.
see they're gonna vote for you to see if they like your meat the best. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm here with Will County Auditor Duffy Blackburn, his gorgeous wife Rachel, and their Jack Tacos. They look really, really good, and then I was kind of looking over here, and I think I know why it got the name Jack. So, yum. So tell us about it, Duffy. Well, uh, this is a, a retread from uh, four years ago. When my son was, our son was five weeks old. Yeah. And the first Men Who Cook, uh, I went out for about two hours, and I made little Jack tacos in honor of this guy. And put some Jack sauce. They're killer. They're seriously uh, awesome tacos. I'm gonna try it. I'm yeah. on. I'm on camera. And we read our we read our son Jack a book every night that oh. says dragons love tacos, <laughs> but they don't love they do not love spicy salsa because when they eat spicy salsa, that's when they breathe fire. Oh my God! This you I never love knew. That. No, I never. I, I never see, Look that. what I'm learning now. Let me try. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Are you gonna make gonna oh, roll yes, that up absolutely. for me? Hundred mile salsa. Hot. Ooh. Let Rachel finish off. Okay. I'm going to keep on making them. Okay. Yeah, I know because you were pretty crowded. I don't want to lose it. Smash it with a little light. Okay. Here we go. Ready? I'll just try. So I'm going to have to have you hold it while I do this. Ready? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So good. So good. Yeah. So good. Oh, oh that's good. yummy. That's good. Okay. Really, you have really to have like me over food. every time yeah. you have them. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Peggy. We are here with Jeff C. And Jeff, who's your partner? Tom Kelly. And you have made some wonderful white chicken chili. Thank you. So tell us about it. Um, I made got skunk four years in a row with a good Texas chili recipe right from the guys down in Texas to do it for a living. And I got skunk four years in a row and I decided to try something different and I won first time out with it. It's a little spicy. Um, actually I make it a lot more spicier but I can't tone it down for all the people here. Maybe it's just my southern taste buds don't handle the spice. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Spice is good. So what's in here that so, makes it so wonderful? Um, chicken, uh, northern beans, lots of half and half, jalapenos, green chilies. And you cook it for a long time slow? Long, long, long time slow. That's the key to any chili. Have you been in this event before? No, I haven't. What do you think of it so far? I'm very impressed. I'm very, very, very impressed. I tried to come last year, but we had a pre-engagement with his married. daughter well, got married, so we couldn't make it last year. Yeah. We were in Bloomington I'm very glad in here. Well, this is a great event. You certainly have a great addition to this, so I, I hope to see you again next year. I'm definitely in. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Jim and Lauren McFarland. They're making lasagna, one of my absolute faves. I can hardly wait to try it. Whose recipe is this, Jim? It's actually my great-grandmother's. It's her recipe she's handed down for generations, and uh, unfortunately she passed a few years back, so we're keeping her uh, recipe alive. All right, now is that Brandolino side? It is. All my, right. uh, my grandmother uh, came here from Italy and uh, moved and settled in Joliet. And always stayed home and cooked, and we enjoyed lasagna just about every Sunday. So now, does does Jimmy time. let you help make this lasagna, Lauren? Yes. And what's interesting is we actually adapted the lasagna to make it a little bit healthier. Oh. So it's his grandmother's recipe that we took and did. You know, a low-fat mozzarella, a low-fat ricotta. We use a turkey sausage and ground turkey instead of the Italian. Now, I think that's wonderful because so many people are really into their health and their diet and you're still going to have, I've got to try it, I've, I've got to try it. Will you give me a little piece? I love lasagna. Okay, Maria? Yeah, I'm going to have you hold the mic. Here we go. Oh, I love lasagna. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you notice that it's mm. uh, lower fat by the taste? You know what I notice? It's not salty. It just tastes so good. Outstanding. Thank you so much for coming out and doing this. It's really, really good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm here with Ken Sterl and his 
My son Sean. His son Sean, his his sous chef, and the gumbo. It's all about the gumbo. I've got my beads. We're ready. How long have you been making this gumbo? Probably about ten years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is it a favorite? What people say is Ken making his gumbo. Yes, we do Bears games every Sunday, and this is one of the games that always works around gumbo. All right. Yeah. Well, and just a little little spoonful, <laughs> just a little bit. Got to try it. Okay. I like gumbo. It's gonna be hot. Okay. Can we hold that for you? Yes. Okay. Okay. How about the interview? You know. Okay. okay. <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, let, let me know what you think first. <laughs> okay. This could be a problem. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. That's all right. Oh my God. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the reaction ahead oh. that I wanted you to have. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Definitely. Ten okay. Stroke Dumbo. <laughs> Very good. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are here with Kevin and Mary, and I think we're stepping into Italy here. Um, tell us a little bit, Kevin, what you have made. Oh, it's called Vichon inspired lasagna. My wife and I had some lasagna on the Grand Canal last year for our 25th wedding anniversary, so uh, we thought we'd give it a go. It's real thin, the noodles were real thin, and it uh, has a little goat cheese in it, so. Well, it's delicious. I just had some, and it's very, very good. And I think you guys win for the best decoration and the best yes. costume. Bless your heart. That's on her. My wife <laughs> came up. This is my teammate, my yeah. best buddy, my yeah. best friend. Uh, I, she came up with this. That was all me. I, yeah. Is this your first year participating in the Men Who Cook? No, we're here last year. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, so you know it's a great event. It's a it is. Fun. It's unbelievable. Great cause, great competition. We got a lot of great amateur chefs out here. So, so tell us, um, how much preparation did you do? You were telling me how you made your lasagna. Oh, this took about three days. <laughs> and you cooked what? Four pans of lasagna at one time? You said. Uh, actually, after I made everything, I, w I put the pans together in about four an hour. But to make everything, get it prepared was unbelievable. I had to roll all these noodles out with a press. So your kitchen must have been a disaster for a couple of days. I could on. Um, <laughs> yes, it was. Well, bless your heart and good luck to you because it's Thank obviously you. delicious. Tell me a little bit about the wine too you're serving. Uh, our daughter recommended this because that's what she does for a living. So she's kind of the, our wine expert in the house. So she recommended this wine. Fair. It's a rosé. It paired well with the lasagna. Well, bless your heart. It looks awesome. So good luck to you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so yeah. much. Thank you. I'm here with Mike Pasteris and his girlfriend Bobby. He's got homemade Italian sausage that he has just assur assured me is really homemade. Gonna give us the secret? I'll give you the secret. It's pork meat, salt, pepper, garlic, and fennel seed. And a little extra garlic. Okay, I don't think that that's the whole thing. I bet there's <laughs> how long does it take to cook and all that? It takes about three hours to make it. Okay, and, and how long it. have you been making this? Oh, 10 years probably. Good 10 years or better. Okay. Yeah. And is it one of those dishes then you're invited to a party and they say, and oh, you're bringing the yes. homemade sausage? Oh, yes. Oh, it looks great. Okay. It smells great. I would love to sample it. I hope you do. Yeah. I'm going to. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to gain 10 pounds by the time today <laughs> is over. Mm. Oh. Is that homemade? That is very, very good. <laughs> very good. Let's hear it from Mike and Bobby. Right. Outstanding, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, we are here with some gentlemen that have been creating some wonderful dishes. Tell me who you are. I'm Pat McGee. Marty Swart. And it smells really good over here. So tell us about what you made, Pat. <laughs> well, I did the uh, other end of it. I'm on, I made the homemade coleslaw. Okay. And we made up, uh, last year we did about 15 pounds. So we kicked it up and we made 20 pounds of homemade coleslaw. And tell us about the sandwiches. Uh, the sandwiches are uh, smoked pulled pork have about 30 pounds of meat we smoked. I smoked for about, maybe about 12 hours and then uh, seasoned it and brought it in. Wow. And you guys have some bragging rights because you won this last year, right? Yeah, the first year we entered it, uh, we finished third and then we took first place last year, so. So that's some additional pressure to be as good as last year, huh? Nah, not when our food's this good. Ooh, we're a little <laughs> modest too. This is very awesome. Well, you know, this is a really great event. We're so glad you guys come out for this. Well, we love it. We, yeah. It's a great time. It's very super. Good. Yeah. Very good. Well, thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank good you luck very to much. you. I'm in front of one of my favorite dishes, 
baked mustacholi, and apparently it was made by Joliet Police Lieutenant Mark Reed and Detective Pat Schumacher. Whose recipe? Uh, mostly mine. We kind of this is uh, kind of. Uh fly by the seat of our pants last night in my kitchen. But, Was uh, it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and how long have you been making this? Uh, a couple years. Okay, well, I'm going to try. I would be remiss if I didn't try and let everybody know. Well, this is a knife. I need a fork. I'm just going to take a little, tiny little piece. I mean, I love baked mustard chocolate. Okay, let's see. It better be good, though. Oh, I'll, I won't lie. Mm. Mm-hmm. I tried getting the recipe mm. from Pat because it was from his grandmother and he wouldn't give it to Oh my God. <laughs> this is better than at wedding receptions. Good <laughs> job. Good job, guys. Thank okay. Thanks, okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We are with the famous Keegan Riley, and I think he and his father own Babe's Hot Dogs. Is that true, Keegan? Yes. Now, did you make this food or did you watch your dad do it? I made this food. With your own two hands. Bless your heart. Tell me what you made. I think your dad's got the best hot dogs in Will County. What do you think? Uh -huh. Yeah. So Tim, tell us what your what did your little helper? Did you help him? Did you supervise? No, he's the boss. I just kind of hand him the stuff, and he makes it all. Well, that is pretty awesome. You had a good teacher, right, Keegan? Yeah. <laughs> How many years you been in this, Tim? Actually, April first, I've been in it 24 years. Wow. Yeah, wow. I love it. I, I love this event. I look forward to it every year. I, I really do. There's a lot of events that you kind of do, and you say you, you, you kind of like doing them, you kind of don't like doing them. This one, I just love doing it. I don't know why, but I have so much fun. And this little guy, he's only six years old, but he's done it with me three years now. Holy and, cow! And, and we look forward to it, don't we? Well, you know, Tim, I have to tell you, Babe's Hot Dogs is such a big community supporter. I mean, you guys are always at every event. You really are big community supporter, so it's really great that you're out here for this. Yeah, we do. We, we really love it, and we just have a lot of fun doing it, and, and we wouldn't miss it. And there's a lot of events we do every year, and we, we're just we're a big part of Joliet, and, and we'll, we'll never change. Absolutely. Well, we're so glad that you're here, and good luck to you. I hope you have get some votes. Hey, Keegan, you going to be a chef when you grow up? Yes. Does your dad make you work in the restaurant without pay? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We're here with Patrick Pendergraf and, and his helper. What's your name? Julie. My wife, Ju Julie. His wife, Julie. So probably the brains behind the brawn, right? Uh, no, actually, he's the, he's the brains of this operation. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Patrick, tell me what you made. It looks delicious. Uh, I made a uh, southern-style barbecued rib, pork ribs, uh, with uh, kind of a doctored homemade sauce, um, real smoky. Nice and charred. Don't well, you look so professional with your official cook gear and stuff. Do you do this for a living? Uh, no, I don't. This is just a avocation, passion, hobby, however you want to put it. How about that? Have you been in this event before? This is my sophomore year. Okay. So it's a great event, great charity, great cause, and we're happy to help out. Very good. So how many pounds of ribs did you cook? I cooked uh, about 40 uh, full racks. And how many days did that take you? Uh, if it weren't for uh, the kindness of a Baptist church who let me use their kitchen, uh, two to three days, two, two and a half days. So this is truly a, a love, a labor of love. Yes, it is. Yes, it's a great cause. Well, thank you so much and good luck to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I'm with men in skirts, which is always kind of fun. And these gentlemen are with Wilco, and you are firefighters who train firefighters. Is that correct? Uh, that's part of it. Uh, we're called the uh, Wilco Fools, which stands for Fraternal Order of Leatherheads. And we're kind of devoted to keeping the fire traditions, pride, and honor alive, and all the while try, trying to promote education and learning amongst firefighters to kind of better ourselves. And you are a member of the Itasca Fire Department? I am. You're with Plainfield? Yes, I am. Okay. And, and you're, how often do you guys, like, do this with the Wilco part? Uh, we, well, we, have, we meet monthly. We have monthly meetings. And then whatever we do within the community or whenever we put on trainings for other departments or just a general training in general I mean that all varies throughout the year but we we meet once a month and then we just kind of go from there basically all right and you have made a meatloaf I'm sorry you've made a meatloaf uh, yes Brian actually was our cook today okay is it your own recipe yes it is yes okay well where is it let's have a let's have a look at the meatloaf take a look at the meatloaf oh yum oh okay I am definitely taking a little bite of this I love meatloaf just a teeny, teeny little bit. There you go. Okay. Teeny. Okay, let's see here. 
I wish I had mashed potatoes to go with it. Good job, right? Very, very good. We Talk about, food. yes, you do. It's very good comfort food, especially since it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So thank you so much. No, thank you. We're here with uh, Will County uh, member Reed Bible, who's one of our newly elected county board members. And he also has a passion for cooking, obviously, here. Yes, I do, especially Italian. So tell us what you made here, Reedy. It looks delicious. I had some, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm glad you enjoyed. This is my lasagna. It's. I learned how to make this from when I was a little boy. My mother being half Italian, uh, and I just call it lasagna della Bible. So okay, after okay. us. Okay. So you don't share the special ingredients, and it's probably different every time, it, right? It's. It, yeah, actually, it is a little different every yeah. time. But one thing that's consistent is the garlic. It's nothing Very without heavy on the garlic. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so what do you think about this event? This is your first year? This is my first year. I'm amazed at the turnout and the fantastic varieties of food. I'm just a little frustrated because I can't get to all of them and, and I don't have room for all of that either. Tell me about it. I've been trying to sample as I go along and I'm going to have a stomach ache. I'm not even on the desserts yet. I know, I know. Well, we're so thankful to have you on our county board and glad that you were able to participate with oh, us this year. My pleasure. It's a great cause and I hope that it's a very successful event. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. We are here with Tom Wilhelm and his trusty sidekick, Tim. And Tom, tell us about what you made today. We made uh, a homemade Polish sausage that was brought over from Poland uh, many decades ago wow. by my wife's family. So it's a family recipe then? It is. It absolutely is. And, and uh, so far, everybody seemed to love it. We're getting a lot of good reviews. Tell us what's in there. It's, it's a very simple recipe. It's really um, the finest pork we can buy, pork butt. We separate the fat from the pork butt so we can control how much fat we put in it. It's garlic, salt, and pepper. It smells delicious, and it's, I'm sure it tastes even better. I'm going to have a little sample. Um, is this your first year in this event? No, we were actually here last year. We made uh, homemade potato dumplings. That's right, and I convinced you to be in it last year, too, you didn't did. I? <laughs> Bless your heart. Well, I'm glad you had a good time and you came back. What do you think about this, Tim? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's have you been around to be able to eat anything? Have I? Have you been able to go around and eat oh, anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff here. Oh, we yeah. got some talented cooks here in Will County, don't we? We do, and especially men cooks, too. Well, we're giving you guys your night, but we know, we know. Well, thanks so much for being here, and good luck to you. I hope you guys win. Thank you. Very good. I'm here with Chris Franklin with the Joliet Slammers, and I see what looks kind of like pastry and sausages. What do you got going here? Uh, we've got the Milano, break, Milano Bakery Breakfast Dog. Oh. It's a, uh, a traditional hot dog we turned into a breakfast dog. So Milano Bakery put together a nice pastry uh, in the form of a bun. And we use a breakfast sausage instead of a uh, regular hot dog. Okay. And we sprinkle a little syrup on top and Ooh. got a breakfast dog. Yum! That sounds fantastic and it looks really good too. Are you going to be selling these at the stadium? That's what we're trying to see. If people like it enough, I think we'll put it up I at the stadium. I bet they will. How can you go wrong with syrup, sausage, and pastry? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Thanks, Chris. Dennis Wolf, and he has created a plethora of sweets and everything looks delicious. Tell us what you made. Uh, there's a, an assortment of cookies from chocolate chips to macaroons to white chocolate and some uh, Polish-oriented kolachkis. And I am chef. Boy, are these cookies good. <laughs> well, you certainly pull off the chef's attire. Oh, we have milk with them, too. And that's good to milk wash it all down. So tell me about these kolachkis. What flavors do you have? Well, I had, I had uh, blueberry. I had uh, uh, cheese. I had uh, apricot. I had uh, prune. It was a whole five or six different. And all these cookies are family recipes? Yes, they are. All right. They oh, look yeah. fabulous. Is this your first year for Men Who Cook? No, I've been with it ever since. All right. Yeah. So yeah. you know what a good time it is and what a great cause it's it is. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's excellent every cause. Year. You Well, I can't wait to try some of your cookies. And thanks Enjoy. so much for joining us. Don't forget the milk. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let the desserts begin. I'm here with Glenn and Jim Markham, and tell us a little bit about what these luscious looking goodies are. Well, they're going down, they're going quick, which okay. is a good thing. But it's my mom's old recipe. It's chocolate uh, peanut butter and butterscotch rice crispy trips oh. treats that she came up with the recipe. I tell everybody, my dad tweaked it and I stole it. Oh, I love anything butterscotch. Yeah, well, oh. I do too. So are these, when you were growing up, are these the treats you were always asked to bring someplace? These are the treats that all the neighborhood kids used to come by our house for. And these are the treats today that my 86-year-old dad still takes to every birthday party. I love it. This 
This yeah. is fantastic. Oh, good. When can I put in my order? You just call my dad and he'll take <laughs> care of it. We got our own little pans. We make these all the time. It's really easy to make and they're really good. Oh, great. Well, it looks fantastic. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. out Thank and you. sharing with everybody. Not a problem. We're enjoying okay. it. Great. What? We are here with WJOL's Afternoon Drive guy, Kevin Collins, and his trusty assistant, Evan Bredesen. Yes, you got okay, it right. Fantastic. And they have made some yummy treats. Tell us about what you made, Kevin. We did cheesecake. We have chocolate, plain, and blueberry. And the difficulty with the cheesecake is I usually put it in a spring form pan, so it's like four inches thick, but I had to put it out to make it a little bite size. But what a great event. I love this. And your first time here. It is. It's my first time here, my first time cooking, and I am blown away by the people. And the, the, the dishes are unbelievable. Larry Walsh next door did homemade caramels. I could never yeah, do that. Yeah, uh, we have a story about that. <laughs> I could never do that. Yeah. Well, so what do you think about Will County so far? You're kind of new to the area. I love it. Um, the events like, I mean, it just, just goes to an event like this, raising money for the Will County Children's Advocacy Center and the turnout that it gets, it's unbelievable. I love it. So, Evan, what did you do to help get ready for all this? Uh, I describe it, he's Batman, I'm Robin. Okay. So just whatever he needs me to do, I do. I'm like the sous chef. Okay. I'm the trusty sidekick. He, whatever he needs me to get, I get. Well, that's important. And this is kind of a departure for you guys to be on television. Yeah. Because you're usually on radio. Yeah, being a bit in front of the camera is different for us, absolutely. Have you been told you have a face for radio? Yes. <laughs> That, I think you have a face for TV too, both you guys. Thank you, you're kind. Well, we appreciate your support so much of our office, so, and thank you all so much, and good luck to you. Thank you, Anastasia. All right, I'm here with the mayor of Crest Hill, Mayor Ray Solomon, and his adorable wife, Vicki, and their array of pachitza. This table has been swarming, so I know it has got to be really, really good. Where does the recipe come from, Mayor? Well, the recipe comes actually from Linda Randich, who is Sue Randich's mother. Oh. Taught my wife, taught my wife how to make it. Oh, but right. I, rem I remember as a young boy growing up, my mother making pizza at, at, on the kitchen table. Now, is it true? I actually was was reading a recipe that like you kind of have to roll it on a sheet, and it takes hours and hours. It does. It usually takes three hours to complete a batch with all the rising in between the steps. Oh my God! And I noticed here that you have uh, chocolate. Is that something that goes well with pizza, or is it just for the physical? No, this is really an artery clogger, okay? <laughs> because it has it has walnuts, it has butter, it has eggs, it has sugar. So it's high in cholesterol, but it's a Slovenian dessert, and I am the official nut crusher. And the process cannot continue until I crush all the nuts. And then we'll just sign up for angioplasty tomorrow. That's right. Okay. Thank, thank God for Lipitor, <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, this is great. Shout out to Linda Randich. I love the Randich family, and this looks fabulous. I know it's fabulous. Like I said before, people were swarming this dessert table. Way to go. I wish you luck. Thank you. Okay, Thank in the competition. You. Thank you. Thank you. We are here with our Will County Executive Larry Walsh and his lovely bride Irene, and they have got a very big tradition that they have been fulfilling every year. Larry, tell us what you're bringing this year. Well, we uh, we always bring our homemade uh, caramels. Uh, uh, Irene does an excellent job of putting together, and uh, a lot of a lot of time goes into that. And then this year, uh, decided that we were going to bring something. Uh, she makes wonderful, wonderful cookies too. But this year, we went with a green velvet cupcake, uh, miniature cupcake. So it's um, been going over very, very well. And uh, now that the entrees, everybody's pretty much has gone through the entrees, uh, we are getting a, a, a good run here going through the dessert table. But you can see we got plenty of competition on this roll with all uh, all the wonderful desserts that we got. Excellent competition. Yeah. So how do you make yeah. green velvet cupcakes, Irene? What's the trick? Green coloring. Yeah. <laughs> green dye. Okay. These are Paula Dean's recipe. Yes, okay. right. And instead Paula of red Dean. velvet, it's green. Okay. That's right. And that's exactly. true to your Irish heritage, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly right. right. Very good. Exactly. Well, I know that your caramels are just famous across Will County, and anytime Larry goes anywhere, they always say, tell Irene to bring those caramels. <laughs> and I'm very proud of Larry for giving credit where credit is due this year, because I think he's tried to assume responsibility in years past. Yes? Well, that's, uh, you know, when we started this, and Sue started this back five years ago, I believe it was, you know, she asked me about getting involved, and I said, I don't, I don't do the cooking, you know. I can boil water and fry an egg, maybe, and make a bowl of cereal. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do all this uh, fancy cooking. I don't do it. 
And uh, so she let me go by, but then we needed help and needed to promote it. So I said, put my name down. Go ahead, get all the caramels you want. You can get on TV. Yeah, sure. Yeah, show your hand while you're getting caramels there. <laughs> well, Irene, your caramels are really pretty famous around Will County. And I'm, is this an old family secret that you perfected? or? No. Yeah. Years ago, I asked my mother, I said, I'd love to make caramel. She had an elderly friend. I got the recipe from her. I've probably been making them 30, 35 years. Well, you've certainly well, perfected them because they're awesome. And, and you know, and it's not and, a secret recipe. Anastasia, at the end of the day, it's for a great organization. Look at the fun everybody is having here. Look at look at the camaraderie and the networking that's taking place and everything, and the dollars that are being spent and donated to help our Child Advocacy Center. I give Jim Glasgow and his staff all the kudos in the world for creating this, and Sue Block and her staff for what they do for our county uh, here, and uh, another tremendous effort of not, not asking taxpayers dollars to help uh, a fund a, a, a wonderful program like this. And everybody loves to eat, so it's a great event. Yeah, we all find that out. Yes, yeah, exactly right. Well, thank you, Larry. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Anastasia. We are here with our Sheriff Paul Copas and our Deputy Chief Ken Copas, and I think they're the best dressed cooks here today. Did you guys not know it was casual? or? Well, we're the best dressed. I don't know about the cook stuff, though. <laughs> We always look forward to your table because I tell you, after eating in all this wonderful stuff, we need the Toms and the toothpicks. So you have really cornered this idea, right? Yeah, I mean, people walk by and they laugh at us. And then we see them coming back about a half hour, 40 minutes later. We're usually the most popular table between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. Absolutely. And uh, we've been pretty busy. Absolutely. Ken, is this your first year involved with this event? No, actually uh, my second. Okay. Uh, we have a much better location this year than we did last, and I think that's due in large part to our popularity. Uh, I'm sure it is. Yeah. I think there was a need, yeah. it was recognized, that we needed to be more in the mainstream. Absolutely. Last year we were close to the bathrooms, uh, and this year we're right here on the You're main You're moving street, up in so the world, that's good. I think people recognize the need, we fulfill a need, that's what we're all about. Absolutely. You know, that's just what the sheriff does. You guys take care. If there's a need in the county, you guys take care of it. Oh, absolutely. Whether absolutely. it be Tums, toothpicks, or arresting the bad guys, you take care of it. Absolutely. absolutely. Well, I'm so glad you guys are here again. This is a really great event. Yes, and you it know is. it's for a really great cause. Yes, so, Fantastic. All right, thank you. Thank you. Guys you. Are awesome. We are here with our U.S. Congressman from the 11th District, Bill Foster. He was newly elected last fall, and you have just jumped in with both feet to the best event in the in the area, right? Yeah, well, I, this is spectacular, and the cause is very worthy. Absolutely. So tell us what you brought today. Well, this is a molten chocolate device. I guess that's all I can describe it, a spinning molten chocolate device that allows you to dip pretzels, and then I sprinkle sprinkles on them. It looks yummy, and I know you've had a lot of children up here. You've been very yeah. popular. Well, the most important thing is to make sure that the mothers leave with at least two napkins, and preferably three. So we have red, white, and blue napkins for that. Well, that's very patriotic of you. And you made all of these yourself, didn't you? I made about half of them myself. Well, I'm very I'm impressed. Truth, truth and marketing. So you could have your own little show, Cooking with the Congressman or something. I can't claim to be a professional cook. You know, my, my two favorite cooking utensils are my credit card and my cell phone. A man after my own heart. Bless your heart. So what are you looking forward to, Congressman, it being a newly elected official here? Well, I mean, you've been on I'm, the job I'm, a little while. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I'm back home for two weeks. Okay. And I spend a lot of my life. I come home every weekend. Okay. And so now I have two weeks straight at home. And so it's, it's a nice time. You get to actually go to events like this Absolutely. instead of seeing them on your calendar and wishing you could be there. And this is good because this gives you an opportunity to relate to the people, and I'm sure you appreciate that. That's right. It's very important. You know, it's easy to get lost in the bubble of Washington, D.C. and thinking, oh, I'm this, you know, big shot congressman. But when you get back and just remember the people that elected you, it's actually very good when it comes time to vote on important things in Washington to stay well grounded. Well, you're my favorite because you like chocolate, so you got me. Thank you so thank much, you. Congressman. And thank you. All right, I'm here with Chris Dieter and his girlfriend Julie and what looks like a super scrumptious fried banana chocolate wontons. Oh my God, how did you even come up with something that smells this good, looks this good, and I'm sure tastes really good? There's the brains of the operation right there. Oh, Julie, okay Julie, come on, fess up. Well, I always 
ate Nutella as a kid. We, me and my sister ate it on everything. And chocolate and banana is goes good. It's a good combination. And whatnot's better, do it than fry it. So let's put it in a wonton, fry it, and how? You know what? When you fry it, how does it not make the chocolate like gush out? Well, you take a fork. What I did is I took a fork and you just kind of press the sides and it presses it together, oh. so there's no air to come out. Oh my God! What a fabulous! I, I think I would have this as an appetizer and a dessert. There you go. All Perfect. right. Well, good luck to you because it sure does look great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we are at the end of Men Who Cook at the dessert table with Jay and Dan and their banana caramel pudding. Is yes. that correct? It looks like super yummy. Uh, who's the brains behind the operation? Well, <laughs> we, neither of us are really the brains, more the brawn behind the operation. Okay, and who came up with the recipe? ladies over there. Oh, okay. I'm not surprised. Yes. It's a secret recipe. It's been in our family for many years. But it takes a lot of work to make the pudding. Oh, it looks you have really to good. stir it for hours. And Jay and I were up all night preparing. But it's well worth it. Okay. Now, ladies, did they tell me the truth? <laughs> well, good luck to you. It looks yeah. great. And I'm sure you hours and hours of... Yes. Slaving over the hot stove went into that this. True. Okay, Thank good you. luck. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. What can we say, Anastasia? I, Another fantastic absolutely. end of Men Who Cook. Every year we get more people. The guys cooking are a blast. Mm -hmm. People who come out from our community. I mean, what can we say? Nothing, except I need a lot more of uh, Sheriff Copas's Tums because I am so <laughs> full. Everything was wonderful. We had so many Italian dishes. We had mm. wonderful desserts. Um, Larry Walsh and his wonderful caramel watermelon soup. Kurt the watermelon Johnson. soup oh, was good. Yum! No, it was it was it was really really good, yeah. and I don't think I can eat anything else for at least three days. No, I know I won't be eating anything. I got an appointment with the treadmill in the morning. No, too, no so. same here. The the advocacy center just wonderful, 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 yeah. and we are so glad that everybody came out to support it, and we'll see you all again next year. Absolutely, save your appetite.